I think it's time we build a bit more. How about we add some other sections? Now, if you're trying to do a website, a lot of templates I see out there, they tend to put icons in and they might have a, a word or a header underneath the icon to say, hey, these are the services we do. Here's what we sell, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes you don't need to always use icons. I think they're a bit overdone at the moment. And how about we go for some solid, powerful images, again, to keep drawing the reader or the viewer in. They're obviously here to find out more about their cats who are causing them a problem and how they can help their cats out. So let's give them some more cat images. Right, let's just scroll down over here. I could make a duplicate of this section if I wanted to, but I'm just going to start from scratch. I'm going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to go with three column approach. So there we go. It's all going to be one third, one third, one third. I'm going to stick into this section. Well, firstly, I'm going to make this be a full width. I'm also going to ensure that there is uh, no gap and the height will be a uh, minimum height. And for now, I'm just going to set it to be a zero. OK, and the column position I will leave as middle for now. In fact, no, we won't. We'll go for bottom. And you'll see why when I start to add in the headers. That's a bit of a clue there. Let's go to the very first one and let's go to style, column one, style. Let's add in a image. And this is where now we have to just have a think about which images we want to go for. Now, you want to try and go for images that don't um, contrast way too much with what you've already got. And you almost want to like continue the theme of what we got with maybe a few angry cat pictures. But then we also want to have a picture maybe of a cat that's looking a little bit cheerful because um, if you go with full on anger, it might be that you're kind of like losing the point of what you're trying to get across. In fact, no, scratch what I said, even though it will still remain in the video. But we're going to go with three angry cat pictures. So let's go with this one over here. OK, and at the moment you can't view the cat because um, there's no content at the moment. But don't worry about that yet. Let's now go. Sorry, let me go back over here. Uh, let me just make the position of this be center center. We're going to make this be a fixed. Um, no, sorry, a scroll. Sorry. We're going to make it be a no repeat and I'm going to make it be a cover image. I'm actually going to delete uh, the other two columns. What we're going to do is create an almost perfect column in the way it is sized and structured. And then we'll duplicate that to get our other two and then we'll swap the images out. I'm going to go to this heading over here. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it into this column over here. You can't see the text very well because it's dark. So let me just centralize it and let me just make it a let me just make it a light color for now. It's still really, really tight what we've got in here at the moment. And that's because there's no padding or anything applied. Let me now go over to my column, go to my padding. And I'm going to say I'm going to go with a, uh, you can go with percentage, you can go with pixel. I'm going to say, give me about 400 from the top and give me about 40 from the bottom. So when I now go down here, you can see now we've got some spacing at the bottom and we've got a bit of spacing at the top. Don't worry about the wording or what this does. OK, we are going to come back to this. OK, let me just get the column to look right. Now then. That is, in effect, kind of OK. For what we want to do, but I am going to tweak it a little bit more. I'm going to go over to my padding and I'm going to say, give me a minimum of 30 on the left and 30 on the right. Just squeeze things in a little bit. Let me now duplicate this image or column and let me duplicate it again. Can you see what we've got going on here? And this is the point where you kind of want to take a step back now and go, right, look at the height of the hero banner and look at the height we have over here. Is this too much? And I think it is. So let's go over here and I'm going to adjust this now to be uh, 300. You'll notice you get a bit of dead space at the top. That's because the column two and three still have 400 pixels as they're padding at the top. That is looking a little bit better. So what we'll do is we'll just copy that and paste the style. And when you do the final one, it'll shift up. Let's now just have a look at how that is looking. It's kind of looking OK. The only thing is, though, is that the images aren't kind of the best because we have duplicate images here. Let's go over to column two. Let's now pick a different image. I will go for this one and I'll now go to column three, go to the background style and we'll go for this black cat over there. I have a black cat. He's wonderful. 
but sometimes he does look miserable. Now, this is where, again, I feel like you need to take a step back. Don't just drop images in and go, hey, I've got images in. They look fantastic. I'm happy. Study what you've got. Does it work? And I now think that this image here should actually be shifted over to be column one. So let's drop it in. So that's column one. That's column two. And that's column three. And I think now the black cat needs to come into the middle. Because when you're looking at it, the darker color there, it's the way our brain and our eyes work. If we, the, the darker background, we're going to hit that cat first. And I feel like you want to make your eyes flow from left to right. Not everyone will agree with my psychology of this, but I think it works better, especially with the fact that you have a bright yellowy mustardy color there. So by having a lighter color here, it blends in better. It's not fighting for attention. Whereas here, it kind of blends in nicely with this. There's something about contrasting and the way you get colors to work there. Now, this has been a really simple, um, uh, like almost a replacement for doing icons. You're putting in images. Now, what you could do is link these buttons. So this could now go over to another page. I'm just going to put Bertha, for instance, so it could go to another page in our website uh, that we're building, or it could even um, activate a pop-up. Like if I click the dynamic stack here and click pop-up, and I will show you how to do pop-ups later on. Uh, if you go over here, you could now activate a pop-up as well, but we're not doing that. So let's pretend these are actual links, okay? What I am going to do, though, is use Bertha to generate some wording that we're going to stick into here. Some short wording, okay? Let's click on the first header. Let's click over here, and we can now see Bertha. I'm going to just get rid of what we had over there originally, and I'm now going to click Bertha. I'm going to go to Paragraph Generators. Let's click on that. And I'm just going to give this title something like uh, Angry Cats. And the description I'll just put in something like is um, Angry Cats Make a Mess. So I did a search on Angry Cats Make a Mess. And what we're now starting to get is like we, we have some wonderful wording going over here. And I'm actually just going to take a bit of that. So I'm going to copy this bit to the clipboard, go over here, paste it. Let me just close that down. But I'm not going to use all of it because I'm gonna now going to take some of the wording. So I like this scratching, biting, and just generally being destructive. Uh, I mean, that is just beautiful, right? Anyone who's owned a cat, you'll know what this is, right? So let's just do that, okay? There we go. Scratching, biting, and just generally being destructive. How brilliant is that as a, as a phrase? Right, let's just go over to this one here. Let me now uh, get rid of the current text. Let's hit Bertha again. Look at that. You might not appreciate this, but I've now, it still has the paragraphs that were generated from before. So I don't have to go back in and put Angry Cat Makes a Mess. No, it's there. So now let me see, was there anything else I wanted? Our products are designed specifically to calm and keep them causing damage. That's a good one. Um, what about over here? Clawing in general. Ah, look at this. This is a good one. Let me take copy to clipboard. Let's just paste this in over here. And I'm now going to just say clawing. Uh, here we go. Let's do that. Let's do that. Clawing and general mischief can wreak havoc in your home, right? Again, that is another great bit of wording. And now let's go over to the third one. You know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to delete the content we had before. Click Bertha. And I've already seen something I like here. So it's here. Our products are designed specifically to calm angry cats. That's amazing. Let's copy that to the clipboard. Like seriously, by one short line, I'm creating the content that I can stick into three separate boxes. So let's go over here. Let's now just stick that in. Let's just go over here. And I'm now going to say um, our products are, desi are designed specifically to calm angry cats and keep them from creating, from causing damage. I can't even read, can I? There we go. Now, as soon as I've done that, you will notice that the wordings are quite different in height. If you ever get this problem, please don't sit there panicking. Here's what you do. OK, go over to your wording that you've got here and just type BR like that. And I'm going to type it again. And what that now creates is an empty space or a carriage return. We go over to this one here and we could now decide to either put it below 
or above it. I'm going to uh, say that we go uh, below. So let me just do BR, BR, BR like that. Sometimes you have to test it out a little bit. So I've removed one breakpoint because when you actually view it, they are now actually aligned okay. So there wasn't any need for the extra breakpoint, but you would just test that out and check, hey, it's part of the game. You just got to go with it, okay? You will obviously notice though that we can't actually read all the wording here. So there are there, there's certain things we could do. We could add in a bit of an overlap maybe, um, like a background overlay. So let me show you that. So if I was to go over to column one, if I scroll down to background overlay, I could add in an overlay at the bottom, like a gradient. So I could add in uh, the dark color. No, not the dark color. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, let me go for a, a dark color like that. You mess around with the opacity and you also mess around with the location. Like if you go all the way top, it goes all the way to the top. If I start to mess around at what point it kind of kicks in, which is roughly there, you can now see that you can now see the wording. So you could now modify this to work better for you. Now that style that we've done there, I would obviously say you might want to replicate that across or you might just apply it to one image. Because looking at that, you might not realize there's a background overlay because in a way the images are all quite a little bit different anyway. So you can get away with that now, okay? But just have a think about, is this the look you want to go for? That in its simplicity is us using Bertha Paragraph generator with just one action in a way. We generated loads of words that I could pick and choose what I want to go for. So you start to see things come together. We've got our header, we've got our hero banner, and when we have our images, which are kind of complementing now what we've got above. Look, we're continuing the cat theme, right? What I'm not showing you is the full on solution yet. I'm reiterating that, look, here we have a problem, okay? Do you, you're going to relate to this, yeah, wrecking havoc, biting, you know, but then look, ah, our products are designed to calm your angry cats, right? The next section after that needs to lead on to that. But before we do that, make sure you crack on to check how does this look on the mobile?